what is up guys welcome back to coaching involves and in today's video i'm going to have a basketball motivation for you guys so what do you guys actually prefer as basketball players do you prefer to train by yourself or scrimmaging now if you don't know what i mean by those two things i'm going to detail about them so when you are training by yourself you want to have a main skill and a secondary skill to work on so what i mean by that is that if you want to work on passing that's fine work on passing of course but uh, also maybe include shooting as well so maybe uh if you are not by yourself i know this kind of integrates training by yourself but it's a small group so if you are training by yourself with others i think with others also helps as well so if you want to do passing you have a passing drill here and if you want to shoot after you pass then of course you're going to have to have a second person on you, or maybe even a third person because it helps with your space and your awareness of where the ball is going to travel from to across up from the team of course and i think one of the other things as well i said you know having other people as well so let's say two or three other people you can swap ideas and of course like swapping ideas in basketball is a good thing to have especially in the team so maybe if you work on shooting drills this person might have some passing drills and of course some dribbling drills from another person another person might have footwork so you always want to integrate with each other and just maybe talk about what they're trying to work on what they're trying to work on how they can achieve it if you do like training just by yourself then that's fine i think it gives you a clear mind of what you actually want to do so i feel like some people they feel interrupted or they're off ease because they cannot work with other people training by themselves putting in the hours their way helps them improve a lot more and that's fine too also as well and i think when you are by yourself you kind of you can kind of focus on a lot more a lot more weaknesses and then you can obviously build up your strengths as well to make it even more stronger so when you're in games uh, you know you have less faults in your game of course and i think the last thing is that you know you just remember to bring extra equipment like a second ball second pump um extra extra cones that type of thing and of course we're training by yourself guys make sure you do it correctly or not even so much correctly just make sure you're doing it with a flow and keep doing it with the Great techniques because you know practice makes permanent as someone told me before now we have scrimmaging now scrimmaging is one of those things that um, I'm sure a lot of people uh, like and dislike at the same time I'm sure for all basketball players like and dislike at the same time because the thing is is that you know with scrimmaging you can play with different levels now I personally think it's a good thing if you have different levels in the scrimmage because then that way you know that this person's trying to improve and come better or maybe this person's at a certain level and maybe you know it just motivates you to want you to be on that sort of level now like i said it's a 50 50 thing when it comes to scrimmage and so you just have to try and work with it and try and work with what you've got who you've got and of course with scrimmage you can expand it could be one on one two on two three on three and so forth of course going on to five now one of the things that I have realized about scrimmaging is well, it can become tedious. So I think I even said this in a previous video before as well. Scrimmage for one hour, extra half an hour for a little bit more of a workout. But um, I say an hour, hour and a half. The reason why I say this is because it becomes very boring. No one runs back on defense. Offense becomes very really lackluster. So those are the things you just have to watch out for when you are trying to scrimmage good. And of course, like um, perform what you want to do in actual games because I realized this so think about it this way you're trained by yourself from how to do a through the legs crossover right do it in scrimmages practice that because then otherwise you won't know if you're getting better at it or not and one last thing for scrimmaging as well is that it's a good exercise it really is a good exercise full court half court you know try and do it regularly I say try and do it at least two to three times a week and of course, if you train beyond those days as well. But I think even if you're in a team, you'll do scrimmaging on a, on a regular basis anyway. And of course, like you know, it's gonna improve your game as well. And you're gonna notice these things as well, especially if you are training by yourself. Now, training by yourself, scrimmaging, what do I prefer? I prefer training by myself, but I also like to scrimmage as well. Because I, I think both of them go hand in hand. I think you can't do one without the other basically so as long as you have both and you are willing to put the time and effort in and you're getting good exercise out of it then of course it's going to work well in your game so just remember that well that's pretty much it for the video guys don't forget to follow my social media links down below don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you for the next video